It's your girl Young Oprah. We are live at Miss Nigeria USA 2017. And we're now waiting to see who is the winner of tonight's pageant. As you know, it's not all about beauty, but also about brains and talent. So stay tuned. I'm standing here with my beautiful host for the night. Please introduce yourself. My name is Glitterati, a.k.a. Aisha, and I'm hosting the show for tonight. The one and only, and I am standing here with Miss International. Introduce yourself, please. Ooh, hey, guys, my name is Liz, a.k.a. The International Diva, a.k.a. Mama Shade, and I'm your co-host for this evening. But you know this already, right? <laughs> so tell me, what do you guys have in store for us tonight? Oh, a whole lot. Aisha. Hey. Tell them about these girls. Ah, uh, these women are fine, fine. I don't know who they're going to pick. I'm glad that I'm not a judge because these judges are going to be going through some drama. Gorgeous, intelligent, empowered black women. Melanin is popping. Melanin oh, popping. You see? Me. All right. So. <laughs> All right, this is your first time hosting together or? Well, yeah, for the Miss Nigerian USA pageant, yes, and as female hosts. So we got women in media. We're on the rise. You better watch out. Women, we always do it best. Sisters in media. Hello. So please tell me, besides the beautiful ladies, what else are you looking forward to for tonight? I'm looking forward to just getting everybody experienced in it and also empowering African culture as a whole because I know that it's a rise in our diaspora, right? And we are trending right now and we're going to get on that boat and we're going to ride it till the wheels fall off. And what about you? I mean, furthermore, apart from just trending, we don't want to just be a trend. Africa has been, will always be. So we want people to actually want to learn, to actually want to go visit, to actually want to know about the culture. It's one thing to wear it, it's one thing to follow a trend, but it's a big thing to actually know it and appreciate it. So that's what we want to celebrate and that's what we want to share. Heaven Boy on the track. We are backstage where the ladies are getting primed. They look beautiful and of course they're getting ready. Okay, this is Idara from Aqua Ibom State. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Okay, so what made you want to do this pageant? I wanted to really like participate in something that showcased my culture and Miss Nigeria USA is the perfect platform for women to be empowered and to really showcase Nigerian culture. I've heard so many great things about the Miss Nigeria USA organization, their charity works, Miss Nigeria USA Cares, and that's something I've always wanted to be a part of, to help change the lives of Americans, change the lives of especially Nigerians, both home and abroad, and anything that you know involves Nigerians and bringing us all as one. I would love to be a part of that. Oh man, the Miss Nigeria USA pageant provides such a strong platform for Nigerian women in America. So I had to go ahead and take forward and improve the education system in Nigeria. So I'm so happy to be here. I'm so honored. Oh man, so many reasons. But I think the one reason that really pushed me to do Miss Nigeria USA is that I was looking for um, an organization that really uplifted the Nigerian woman mm -hmm. and allowed the Nigerian woman to be able to do work not only in the United States, but also in Nigeria as well. In addition, I really appreciated the fact that they gave us an opportunity to push a platform or a cause that we advocate very strongly for. And Amazing. mine is actually diabetes and heart disease prevention for Nigerians in the diaspora. So the Miss Nigeria or USA organization was just a wonderful opportunity for me to highlight the beauty of Nigeria mm -hmm. and also to promote the things that I'm passionate about. So that's what really moved me to be a part of this organization and be a part of the pageant today. What's your platform? My platform is on advocacy for undocumented Nigerian immigrants living in the United States, because I was once undocumented, so 
I know the struggles that I face. My platform is advocating for children with disabilities with a focus on autism. I raised my younger brother Faith since he was um, two and he, when he was diagnosed with autism. So that is where my passion comes from. I also want to be a future pediatrician. So coming into this pageant is just first nature, wanting to do more and getting a higher platform. I actually launched an initiative last year called Dakara Kaiso. And in my language, it means um, get up and go for children and get up and go for autism. Because we know in Nigeria, autism is not really popular, but I plan to bring it all over Nigeria. from 2016, yes. She was awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. Of course, it's my pleasure. <laughs> so tell me, how was your reign as queen? I mean, you're still a queen, of course. of course. I had an amazing time being Miss Nigeria USA. I got to perform my platform. Everything that I set out to do at the beginning of the year, I was able to do with the help of Joy, the founder of Miss Nigeria USA, as well as Bala, who is the current director of the pageant. Um, it's been an awesome year, amazing opportunities, amazing contacts and connections that I've made over the year. So I'm just blessed and, fa and happy to be here, to be in this point, and also to give the opportunity to the next queen. Standing here with the one and only Mr. Prez. Thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure's mine. It feels good to be here. How are you? I am great now. So you're here supporting Miss Nigeria. Why? Um, she's a friend of mine. and. Um, I mean, an amazing person with a great personality, and uh, I mean, I'll do anything to support my friends, so I'm here. <laughs> All right, so I know you have a lot in store, yeah. you know, in terms of music. Please tell us, what are you up to nowadays? Uh, well, I just dropped a new single. Um, it's called Me A New Feature in Sarkodia, and um, it's been, like, since it released, it has been amazing. Like the, It's been like a major wave, and uh, working on my sophomore album, which is due to drop later this year. And, um, Basically just more music, more music, more music. I'm a former Miss Tanzania and a humanitarian. I'm also working as a fashion model with Ford Models New York. Amazing. So what did you think about the outcome of the show for tonight? Well, first of all, this is Miss Nigeria, but I just wish they can do more to, um, to give opportunity for other countries. You can do Miss Africa, USA, because this is just another opportunity for these young girls to be able to, like, Express, express yourself and just get the opportunity to help back home. So I'm very, very happy to be here today. A lot of people in Nigeria are wondering, why Miss Nigeria in America? Why? Tell me. 
Because um, there's a lot of diaspora and there's the Miss Africa pageant. So Miss Nigeria is, you know, she wanted something that empowered Nigerian women, Nigerian American women as well as Nigerian women that are first generation and women that were born here. So just, you know, making sure that we're empowering them. And they're also learning from this with their culture, giving back and things like that. So, and also having a space where, I don't know what beauty pageant, you'll see all these black women in a beauty pageant. And it's being empowered, it's being showcased. So there's a need for that. And it's to be a continued need and a continued um, research or making sure that we are empowering black women. Okay, care to add? Yeah, I mean, she said everything. It's, it's true. I mean, there's Nigerians in America, so why not celebrate ourselves here and an opportunity for our Nigerian sisters back home to see it, to say, wow, you know, we, you would think you come to America and you get lost, but no, not necessarily. We're trying to bring back that culture and hone it and share the beauty that we have. on the track. much for what you're doing with these girls. Thank so you. tell me, how do you feel about the outcome for tonight? It was, I was happy because it was a really tough one. Like all six of them, they were all beautiful and smart. And then came down to top three. It was like, oh my God, how are we going to do this? But I guess the judges did the right thing to choose her because she is an exceptional woman. Yes. So um, it was great. I'm, I'm excited. I'm happy. I feel kind of overwhelmed. I'm so excited. It's just surreal. It's just surreal. Can you please reiterate, what was your platform for tonight? My platform is stroke awareness and prevention. So pretty much focusing on health education to prevent heart disease and stroke within the, within the Nigerian community. All right, with your win tonight, what do you hope to do? My hope is really to promote health education by doing workshops and seminars here in the United States and back home in medical missions in Nigeria. 